Hi, I'm Laura from Loop and loopyarn.com, and today I'm going to show you how to do the crisscross stitch that's used in our Isabel cowl pattern. You can find our Isabel cowl pattern on our blog, loopknits.com. So the first thing that I did was I cast on six stitches for my swatch. One edge stitch, four pattern stitches, and an edge stitch. So I'm going to start with row one of the pattern, and I'm going to knit one. Then I'm going to purl across the row, but wrapping twice for each purl stitch. So like this, wrap the yarn around once, and then again, and then pull both stitches off the needle. So I'm going to go into the stitch again, wrap once, wrap twice, pull through and off the needle. Once, twice, once, twice, and off the needle. And then I'm going to knit my edge stitch. Okay, so you can see that each stitch has two little wraps sitting on your needle. Okay, then I'm going to turn my work and again I'm going to knit my edge stitch. And then I'm going to insert my needle into the next stitch purlwise and I'm going to slip it off the needle, dropping the extra wraps. Okay, so I just have one long stitch right here. So I'm going to go into can see the two wraps, one, two. I'm going to go into the first wrap there, and I'm just going to slip it right off the needle, dropping the second wrap and making one long stitch. And do it again, and do it again. Okay, then I have four long stitches here, and I'm going to slip all of them right back onto the left needle. So now I have my four stitches back on my left needle and my one edge stitch on my right. So keeping the yarn in the back of the work, I'm going to take my right needle and I'm going to insert it into the third and fourth stitches here, like this, into the front, and I'm going to pull these stitches over the first and second. So I'm actually going to kind of use my thumb to hold those stitches in place. So I'm going to just gently draw them up and over like that and then take the needle out. So the stitches are crossed and they're now, I'm going to knit them in this order, one, two, three, four. Okay, so knit the first one, the second one, the third, and then the fourth. And then I'm going to knit my last edge stitch here. Okay. And I have my first little mini crisscross. So go ahead and watch the video again just to get it down straight and then continue to follow the pattern as it's written and soon you'll have your own super cute warm Isabel cowl. Thank you so much for watching.